Okay, this is a short video that's going to illustrate the send.get function um, being used to pause uh, a program as opposed to the actual system pause function which is uh, very resource heavy, uh, uses a lot of system resources compared to send.get. Um, so I'm going to start a program from scratch and here in a minute I'm going to actually mess up and put the send.get in the wrong place for the for the purpose of the demonstration. Um, what we're looking at is uh, it's going to be put in between the input for uh, two variables A and B. Um, um, actually, it's A and B are going to be added together and uh, stored in the variable sum, and then the uh, send dot get, which is going to pause the program, will be put after uh, the value is stored in sum. Um, and this first version of the program isn't actually going to work correctly, um, and the reason for that is the uh, the enter key after being pushed when the A and B variables are stored is going to stay in the keyboard buffer and that's what's going to be read for um, that send.get function. Uh, it's going to read that new line character in the keyboard buffer um, immediately as opposed to actually waiting for you to press the key. Um, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna watch me compile this here and um, what's going to happen is it's going to ask me to input the the two variables, which um, or the two numbers, which I think is like four and six. And um, instead of waiting, it's going to print the uh, press any key to continue, and then it's going to continue without waiting for me to press a key, um, which is not what we want because the whole point of this is to have something to pause the program. Uh, the solution to this is um, using uh, send.ignore, which um, does exactly what it sounds like. It ignores the last um, the last character in the keyboard buffer, which in this case is the uh, new line character that uh, is left over from uh, pushing enter after entering the two numbers two and four which is kind of what uh, I think um, Fab3 Production was, was talking about when he uh, posted his comment. Um, if not, then I've just uh, spent quite a bit of time doing something completely pointless. Um, anyway, so as you can see here, I'm going to go back into the, uh, the program and type in that sin.ignore. Um, function and recompile the program and it should uh, and it well it, it will because obviously I've already done it and I wouldn't be uploading this video if it didn't work uh, it will pause the program at the correct spot um, obviously the because it's because of where it's positioned in the program it's not actually pausing the program at the end it's pausing it right in the middle but this is um, obviously it works at the end as well um, so now you know how to use the send.get function as a, uh, a way to pause your program.